Is your website mobile friendly? And if it is, to what extent? In this video, I'm going to go through some tools that will help you diagnose the extent to which your site is mobile friendly and also give you some pointers you can give to your web developers to improve your mobile experience. My name is Jason McDonald, director of the JM Internet Group. Let's get started. Well, welcome back. Uh, we're going to go through tools and some resources on mobile friendly. It's a big deal these days because of the so-called Google Mobile Geddon. And I want to kind of guide you through how you can test uh, your site and realize it's not just are you mobile friendly or are you not mobile friendly, but there's a spectrum of how mobile friendly uh, you really are. So what I did is I did a quick search here for uh, New York hypnotherapist and show some websites that show in uh, Google Local here. So here's Theta Spring Hypnosis and Nancy Donenfield. So I opened those two websites up so we can sort of test them. I have no connection to either of these businesses. So I'm going to take Theta Spring over here. And then uh, let me uh, go back over here. And I'm going to click on my first resource here. Now, all the resources are in the YouTube description. You can click there. You can get over to the resource page. So I'm going to pop this guy in here. And what this test does is analyze kind of are you mobile friendly and to what extent. You can see it, it just, yay, Theta Spring, you're totally mobile friendly. Uh, and it shows you what you look like. Uh, and we'll talk about that in a second. Now, let's take this competitive site here, which ranks relatively well on a Google local or a Google search. Uh, but what we're going to see is it is not mobile friendly. So this test is going to test uh, Counseling and Hypnosis Associates here. And if you worked for this company, yikes, you're not mobile friendly and you're going to start um, being penalized by Google for that. So we'll wait as the uh, chocolate chip cookies there bake in the oven. And you can see here that this uh, official Google tool says, uh, yikes, we are really uh, not happy. Uh, with you. We are not at all uh, happy uh, with what's going on. Uh, so over here, it lists things to do, and it has some nice little step-by-step um, -step diagrams as to um, what you should do. I'm trying to get that to be not yellow. Why does everything always have to be so difficult on these videos? Uh, anyhow, we'll leave it at yellow. All right, so Mobile friendly test, step one, put your website in here and see, are you mobile friendly, yes or not, yes or no. And if you're not, some tips from Google as to what to do uh, to improve your performance. Now, number two is page speed insights. Sp page speed insights, <laughs> say that five times fast. Put your website into this Google tool. Sometimes you have to kick it a few times. And it's going to give you a little bit more information about the user experience and also about the speed. Uh, so you can test. Let's test the other website here. Control C. Paste this in here. You know, unfortunately, these Google tools, of course, don't talk to each other very well, at least. So you can see here, this Theta Spring is mobile friendly, right? The user experience is 100, right? However, up here, user experience is 100, but over here it is not happy with the speed of the website. So we have a great user experience, but we don't have good speed. So this is a good tool because it gets to a little bit more nuanced. How fast are you? Are you fast, yes or no? All right, now let's go back. Uh, tool number three is Google Analytics and Webmaster Tools. Now here you have to have an account. So I'm gonna log into my account just to show you where these resources are. So you're gonna log into Google Analytics Get into your account here. And on the left-hand column, go Audience, Mobile, Overview. Audience, Mobile, Overview. And you can see here that this tells us that our mobile traffic is about, what is it, about 12%, about 11.59% there. And our bounce rate is 68% here versus 60% up here. So it tells you that our bounce rate is somewhat higher on the mobile. Now, this is for a true mobile friendly website. We are actually mobile friendly. Now, if you're not mobile friendly, you might see a really high bounce rate 
uh, for your mobile visitors, which is more indication of, uh-oh, we need to do something. And also it gets you a sense, maybe you have 50% of your traffic mobile. Yikes, right? 50% of our traffic is mobile and we're not mobile friendly. Ooh, that is not good. So you want to go into analytics to get some sense of the extent to which your traffic is truly mobile. Uh, resource number four is Webmaster Tools. Uh, same sort of thing, log into your Webmaster Tools account. Now here, you can see here, it's giving us some information and in saying, hey, we're not happy. Right off the bat, it's telling you I've got some problems. Now over here on search appearance, I'm sorry, search traffic, mobile usability, and then here it gives some deep dive information into what actual pages are a problem. Now in our case, our website has some legacy pages which are not running through WordPress and therefore they're not responsive and therefore uh, Daddy Google is not happy with those pages. So this is a deep dive into your website to indicate which specific pages have issues. Uh, so it's not just the whole site being mobile friendly, it's actually uh, page by page. All right, resource number five is this online phone simulator. Now, what you can do here with this online phone simulator is, um, let me reset it here. I'll reset it so you guys can see it a little bit better. This is cool if you're in a meeting and you don't want to have to like pass your phone around or you just want to sort of see how you look on different devices. So let's go to google.com. Let's just sort of start with a Google search. Let's go to iPhone 5. So it's going to show us what does Google look like in iPhone 5. And let's type that search in here. New York hypnotherapist and hit go. So this is as if I have an iPhone 5. Now, look at some things here, first of all, right? We did our search on the phone. Ads are the top two. The phone is really vicious, right? The ads are the top half of the screen. And then below that, we have our mobile, our first mobile site, which is a therapist in psychology today, a, a, a directory. Now look at this. Google Plus, Google Plus, Google Plus, Google Plus, right? So the Google Plus sites really get a huge benefit. And then we have some British sites. I don't really know why. And then we have this site down here. Now you can actually click through on a site and see what it looks like on the phone. The experience goes all the way through, uh, which is pretty neat here. So you can see uh, this is not the best mobile friendly site, but it's, it's okay-ish. Now let's take... Um, a site, you could take your own site. So let's copy this site here, which is not mobile friendly. And let's um, paste that site in here. And let's see what this site looks like on an iPhone 5. So you can see it's just got this weird picture of uh, that building in New York City um, outside of Central Park there. Uh, and then this weird clock, right? So it, it's not very mobile friendly, is it? It doesn't look good. So this final tool gets you to be able to see what is the Google search like. Yikes, oh my goodness, uh, it's really vicious. You've either got to advertise, you've got to be way at the top to really do well. So let's review the resources that we've gone over. So number one is the mobile friendly test. It gives you a sense of sort of, are you mobile friendly and how well, how good your design is. Number two is your speed, how fast you are. And it gives you some more detailed recommendations on how to improve the speed. Inside of analytics, you can see how what percent of your traffic is mobile uh, and then drill down to things like your bounce rate and find out if your bounce rate's really high. So it's more your own mobile traffic there and what's going on. Webmaster Tools deep dive into your website individual pages, how those individual pages are doing uh, in terms of mobile friendliness. Resource number five, online simulator. This tells us what does our, our website look like? Great for meetings, great. Hey, I have an iPhone, what do I look like on Android? So it's good for looking at multiple uh, devices. Now, the rest of this uh, resource list for you, I have uh, links to the official Google guides on mobile friendly. I've got some of the better um, FAQs out there on the internet. Uh, if you are in WordPress or Joomla or Drupal, which are the three big CMS systems out there, what you want is a responsive theme. So I've got the links to the responsive themes for those platforms, and I've got a link to the Wikipedia article on what is responsive. So if you're in a platform, the good news is you can probably pretty easily transition to what's called a responsive theme, and that's going to at least take care of your user interface. Uh, finally, just sort of some thoughts here on where this is all going. It's really clear that Google wants to be uh, mobile first. 
They're terrified of Facebook and what Facebook is doing on the mobile uh, device. So they're really geared to mobile. Uh, I think it's pretty clear that over time, they're going to penalize everybody for not being mobile friendly. This idea that they're going to have two search engines, mobile and desktop, I do not see that a long-term happening. It just doesn't seem to make sense to me. Uh, finally, you got to pay attention to your speed. It's not just are you mobile friendly, it's also your speed. Um, and then uh, look at that Google My Business uh, formerly, it's like Prince, uh, the artist formerly known as Prince. Uh, Google My Business formerly known as Google Local, formerly known as Google Places, formerly known as Google Plus Local, formerly known as Google Local. My goodness, Google, could you please stop renaming this platform? Uh, you want to go and claim your local listing and really optimize because a lot of your local searches that truly matter are local searches. Uh, so that, my friends, is an overview to testing whether your site is mobile friendly and diagnosing it and getting some to-dos uh, for your web design uh, staff there, uh, things that they can do. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, sign up for our mailing list, and you'll get the free SEO toolbook with hundreds of free tools. Uh, and go out there and be mobile friendly. Thank you so much for watching.